Automatic Number Plate Recognition, or License Plate Recognition, is a highly accurate system, capable of reading vehicle number plates without human intervention, through the use of high-speed image capture with supporting illumination. Detection of characters within the images provided, verification of the character sequences as being those from a vehicle license plate. Character recognition to convert image to text, so ending up with a set of metadata that identifies an image containing a vehicle license plate and the associated decoded text of that plate. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to activate an Honeywell ANPR Camry license, HBL6GR2 LPR, which is the only ANPR camera from Honeywell when this video uploading. Without any ado, let's start the video. Open web browser, Internet Explorer is recommended. Once browser open, type the IP address of the camera. If you don't know how to find Honeywell camera in the network, and how to provide IP address to any Honeywell camera, I have already uploaded a video on that, you can check from, I button, or, link will be provided in the description. Then click on more information. Drop down and click on Go on the web page. Now enter login credentials to continue. For live view of the Any Honeywell's camera, we need to download the plugins. To do that, click on Download option, which is shown on the screen. To continue click on Allow, and proceed for download. Then install it. Once user finished this process, the camera will be start live on the web page. This camera can be used as normal CCTV surveillance and LPR. To enable LPR, navigate to Setup, then Video Analytics. Then go to Smart Plan. Here, user will have two options, Smart Plan and Extensional Smart Function. Smart Plan, it is used for face detection or people counting. And, Extensional Smart Function, it is used for LPR. User have to ensure that neither face detection and people counting are disabled. And, that Extensional Smart Function is on. The icons of face detection or people counting are orange if enabled. Click on any orange icons to disable them. Once setting done, click on Save. To enable LPR, go to Extensional Smart Function tab. Here, select the LPR checkbox. Then click on Save. Once the external smart function is saved, for the first time use, camera will be reboot. After reboot, browse to the same page, which I have done earlier. So, click on the open button to activate the license and enable the LPR function in the camera. The LPR page displayed with Windows Security Credentials Wizard. Enter the same credentials as used for login into camera web page. Then click on OK. Once user clicks on OK, LPR Analytics interface will open. Here, user have to set LPR configuration, which we will see in upcoming videos. As per our topic, we have to activate the LPR Analytics license. As you can see on the screen, LPR Analytics not activated. Basically when any customer purchased this camera from Honeywell, there are two options, with LPR license and without LPR license. If user purchased without license, he can purchase license from Honeywell by providing hardware ID. Or, if user purchased with license, but still he is getting this message on the LPR analytics interface. This video is for both scenarios. For that, user have to download and install X-Tray List software. To do that, minimize this window. Let's open Google Chrome and search for mywebtech.honeywell.com. Then click on Login. Located at top right of the screen. Login into website by using login credentials. If you don't have the login ID, contact Honeywell technical team to provide a login ID. Once login into website, go to Download Center from menu. Then select Product Line as Video. 
Then select X tray list. Here, user can find list of product from X-Tray list. We need to select Exchange 2. Download and install Exchange 2 version 2.0.6.6. .6. To save viewers time, I have given the direct download link in the description. Once download completed, extract the folder by right-clicking on it. Then, dual-click on Setup File. Follow the screen for complete installation. Once installation finished, close the wizard by clicking on Close button. Let's minimize all programs, and go to Desktop. Here, user can see x -trailers. Exchange to software icon. At this point before proceed to ahead, user have to provide internet connection to camera. If you're confused, how we can provide internet connection to single camera, without any NVR, or DVR? Comment me in the description, I will make a separate video on that. Once user have provided internet connection to camera, open x -trailers. Exchange to software, by dual clicking on its icon, make sure your PC, and camera both are connected to internet. Once the software opens, click on Add button, located at top right of the screen. A pop-up window will open. Here, user have to add product details, such as name. Any name user can add. Here, I'm adding name as ANPR entrance. Next, description is optional. It depends on the user he can add or deny. Next, we have to add hardware ID of the camera. For that, go back to LPR Analytics interface. Copy hardware ID from here, and paste it into software. Once all the information filled, click on Add button. The Product Manager screen displays all the added devices. Now select the camera from the list. User want to activate LPR Analytics by clicking on Selection box. Then click on Manage icon, located at top right of the screen. The Manage option allows you to activate vouchers and manage license for the added product. Only one product can be selected at a time. Once user clicks on Manage, it will take a moment. Then activation codes will appear on the screen. Copy the activation codes by clicking on Notepad icon. Now let's go back to LPR Analytics interface and paste the code. Then click on Activate button. It will take some time to activate the LPR Analytics in the camera. A pop-up will appear on the screen that says, Save License, and License has been activated successfully. Click on Close button. If you observe the screen before the activation, the LPR configuration was blur. Once the LPR analytics activated, the LPR configuration revealed. Now user can make the LPR configuration, and camera can capture the vehicle number plates. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to configure LPR, and how to interface LPR camera with MaxPro MVR, and MaxPro VMS. Hope you learn how to activate LPR analytics on Honeywell camera. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you're facing any issues with any Honeywell products, you can contact our team by given platforms.